Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lake MRI. And this is an MRI of the thumb, and I think most people start to sweat when they see one of these because they don't come along very often, and what you say may or may not lead to surgery, so they really depend heavily on what the radiologist says. And the anatomy is small, and sometimes the technologists don't have a very good coronal view, which is really critical. And so these are just almost always something that makes you a little bit nervous. So here we go. This is a case of a positive UCL tear. This patient was in a motor vehicle accident, and their thumb got pulled backwards. And on this coronal PD fat set view, we see the radial side, the ulnar side. Here's the uh, second finger here to get oriented. Here's the thumb. And so we're looking at this joint right here, and again, we have these two ligaments, the radial side, radial collateral ligament, and the ulnar side over here, ulnar collateral ligament. And the radial collateral ligament looks just about right. Nice dark band there. And the ulnar collateral ligament, a lot of times these are really hard to tell. This one, luckily, is not too hard to tell. You can see that this thing is not normal at all. It looks like it's completely torn, ruptured. We see a little area of brightness here where there's a defect in the cortex, a little avulsion fracture from here, maybe pulled up, maybe this is part of it here, but they have a completely ruptured UCL, Again, it should attach to the metacarpal head and also to the base of the proximal phalanx over here, and you can see that there's a little fluid-filled gap at that distal attachment. Here we go again, so right in here, you see that little fluid collection, so again, it's completely torn and uplifted, and then over here, completely torn, so this is pretty straightforward, ruptured, they're going to need surgery, but now one other thing we need to talk about is the stenter lesion. That is always difficult. So the stenter lesion is when the UCL is torn from the distal attachment and it's not just laying right at it where it can heal. It's pulled away from there and cannot go back to the normal position because the adductor aponeurosis is in the way. So it can't go back there. There's no chance it can heal, and this is something that they absolutely have to do surgery for. So they rely on the radiologist to tell them two things. Number one, is it torn? Yes. Number two, is there a stenter lesion? that will uh, make this not heal, so you absolutely have to do surgery. And it can be very hard to tell sometimes, or most of the time even, I'll say. And so the adductor of ponderosis, if we go dorsally, we should see something that comes across here, comes over on the outside, usually a really thin band that comes over. And this adductor of ponderosis is not well seen. You can imagine it on some of these images, but not clear. So right here, it could be it right here, this little dark band and if we go on this view maybe it's coming across here uh, but really hard to tell so it looks like it's at least partially torn and attenuated and the question is is this UCL in the normal position no it's pulled up and on this view here you see a little linear band and this is this balled up UCL I believe and this is more dorsal that this UCL is elevated is dorsal to this longitudinal band this is probably the adductor ponderosis or part of it and if we go one more dorsal cut we see this here so I believe it's uplifted hanging over the top of this. So I believe this is a stenter lesion um, that is gonna, definitely re gonna require surgery. But again, these are always difficult when you look for some horizontal band coming across here, blending with the muscles. And then you see, is this UCL touching or far away? And is it elevated dorsally here like in this one? So again, a UCL rupture, an avulsion injury, and suspected stenter lesion. They also had some uh, bone injuries over here and a few other uh, significant findings. So thank you very much.